Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the real one, always 100, Gabriel Skywalker and Shorter Skywalker, coming to you guys from the DFS Club with an NBA main slate video. Who else has a cat in their videos, right? Look at this guy. He's looking at the picks already. He's ready to, he's ready to dive into it. Um, how's it going, everybody? Um, hopefully you had a great day. Hopefully you had a profitable day. Um, we're starting to get a feel of these rotations now, which is a good thing. Um, you know, whenever I play uh, Ben Simmons, this is what he does. So my <laughs> my promise to you guys is I will never play Ben Simmons again because it always happens. So I'm never going to do it again. So feel free to play him and he will just go off. He will just go off. So the today, tomorrow, whatever, whichever day you're watching this, it appears that Brooklyn has nobody to play, right? Um, this may come to as a shock to you, but if you guys remember earlier in the season, the Warriors were in the same predicament, right? You remember they called up all the Santa Cruz Warriors to come and play. So we've been here before. Uh, we'll break it down. All we got to do is just basically, I know a lot of, a lot of us are kind of like worried about it, either fade the game. Or get some value out of it. See who's going to start. The whole announcer is going to start. They've been pretty good at that. Um, and then go from there. You know, don't you dare be sour. Okay. So let's go. Let's go. So let me show you my winnings for today. Let me bring it up here. All right. So this is our Discord chat for the DFS club, guys. Why haven't you joined yet? My God. Um, so cash and baseball and NHL, I just missed on NBA by 10 points, 10 fantasy points. I'd rather lose by 50 than by that. Oh, my God. And Bede pretty much killed it. He didn't kill the slate. He killed my lineup. Um, yeah. So other than that, though, because we play every single sport, it's all good. I made up for it in, in NHL and MLB. Look at this MLB, guys. I know it's an NBA video, but. I was proud. This is my cash lineup today. I came in 55th out of 8,620. I play one lineup, guys. I'm not a lineup donkey. I play one. As you can see, one lineup. Also threw in a GPP. Came in 1,300 out of 58,000. And these are up against the people that play 400 to 600 lineups. So, hey, I'm proud of myself. You know, if I'm bringing money in for the club, that's what it's all about. So NHL is just it's just a walk in the park, guys. Come join us. www.dfsclub.com, guys. The Daily Fantasy Sports Powerhouse. Oh yeah, and foul trouble too. Oh, I'm so I'm so over foul trouble already. That's becoming a thing with every player. Um, you get three providers in one. DFS Space, who's killing it in NBA, Skywalker DFS, that's me. And then the DFS Whispers. You get every single sport. Everything. We did tennis last night. We got KBO coming up tonight. I better let the club know because I didn't reply. I've been so busy. Um, NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, eSports, MMA, WNBA, guys. College sports when they come back. And the XFL when it comes back because apparently The Rock is going to buy it. So I don't know if you guys heard that, but it should be interesting. Click the Join Now button. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And again, pick your plans, guys. We are the cheapest in the industry so far um, since sports have come back. I mean, the feedback from the members has been awesome. And thank you guys for the feedback. It means the world to me. Because if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. I'll fix it. Quickly. Quickly. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. So thank you, new members and old members. You know, thank all y'all. They've been with me since day one. Um, but come pick your plans, guys. We have the best community in the industry, and you get three providers. You don't just get me. You get space, man. DFS space, you'd be crushing it, NBA. Come join us. We got pros in there. We got sharks. Shout out to my experts in there. Thanks for rolling with the club, man. Um, and coming soon, we might, we very possibly have something going in the works as far as you, uh, odds makers go you know what i'm saying so we're looking to take over that market too since we've already taken over the dfs industry so come get it www.dfsclub.com guys um let's see so let's go back to the slate over here 
I'm just closing my fan duel out. We're done for the day. I'll close this out, the DFS club, so it doesn't beep in your guys' ears. All right, so lots of things to look into. So let's start off. We're going to start with center again. I like doing it that way. That's what she said. Oh, I got something for you. So I've been getting requests. You talk so much smack about your baby's mama. Y'all want to? Y'all want to see her? You want to know what she looks like? Hold on. All right. So there she is posing for the camera. So in case you wondered, yes, that's my baby's mama right there. You happy? You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's that's. She says that's my good side. So, anyways, guys, let's get, let's get to the slate. She has a, lots of pictures up. She's she's famous on the internet. All right, so let's go back to the position optimizer. I'm already doing the, the lineup optimizer. Look, I'm all ready to go. All right, so we'll start at center. So we're going to kick it off. with This this game right here is going to be fire. Um, Porzingis, again, at 9K. Last two slates I've played him in, he's been very low on. Um, the man gets no respect. Uh, DraftKings threw some respect on that price tag, though. He's 9K. 38, 36 minutes, 70, 53 fantasy points in his last two. Going up against some Sacramento Queens. I don't know who's going to start. Is Rashawn Holmes going to foul out again? I mean, who's going to stop this man? Absolutely nobody. So really liking the Mavs on this slate. Um, get him in there at 9K. Next up, Nurkic again. Hey, he keeps getting 50 fantasy points or more a game. He's always going to make Skywalker's videos. He's going to make my videos. 8.5. I still think that's too cheap. I liked it a lot better when he was 5K, right? Um, what up against Houston? This game right here is a very high projected total. So I will have lots of shares of this game. And let's see. So yeah, 8.5. Hopefully that drives the ownership down on Nurkic. And I will definitely probably, I don't want Westbrook too. So I might have to steal some of that, uh, Brooklyn, uh, value we'll see how much value it comes out of it but if you're going to go anywhere near that game just play light play light because we don't know what's going to go what's going to happen but i'll have my eyes peeled all day dfs club so don't worry i'll be watching the news like like my baby's mama watch a, a cupcake being given to her from behind the counter um so yeah nurkic at eight five get them in there next up vooch is only seven eight guys and you can't climb. I mean, they brought his price down, but look at his minutes 23 27. If Orlando would stop blowing people out or getting blown out, he would get full run. So that's why his price is down to 7 8. Way too cheap. Way too cheap. I know it's not the most entertaining matchup here, um, but who's going to stop him? Another poor team defensively against centers, ranked 24th in the league. Get Booch in there at 7 8. Next up, he let us all down last time, but you know what? He only played 21 minutes. We'll give him a break. DeAndre Ayton's come through for me so much, and he's only 7'5". No, no respect here. Going up against the Clippers, who's going to stop him? I can't think of no one. So, I don't know. I kind of like I think the ownership will be pretty low on Ayton, so I like the price tag. If it was like 8K, I'd say, nah, nah. But I think he's going to get another uh, 50 point, maybe 30 plus minute game. So get him in there at 7 5. All right. So here we go. So the good, the bad, and the ugly is what I call this. So we're going to go over these Brooklyn guys real quick that are actually going to play. The roster's down to eight, maybe nine, I think, if uh, Crawford plays. So we got Karooks here at 4 3. One of the safer guys I think might start. He's already playing 16 minutes off the bench a game. Um, but God, it's going to be, a, it's going to be an onslaught. They're playing Milwaukee. So you all know Milwaukee's one of the best teams in the league. So yeah, this could be an over under spread of like 30. So, but Karoops is definitely an option at 4-3. And then we got Dante Hall here, Arsenio Hall's long lost son. He's only 4-2. He's played 14, six minutes off the bench. Sorry, 12, six minutes off the bench, six and 14 fantasy points. He's a big. They're going to need bigs. No Jared Allen. So they'll probably start these two right here. They'll probably start Hall and Crooks, but I don't know. I'm just going off of my NBA knowledge and what I know of the rotation. So Arsenio Hall at 
DraftKings has priced these guys up because they already know what's coming. The storm is coming. All right, next up, Lance Thomas. 17, 10 minutes off the bench. He might get, he might start, right? He's 3 8. But, you know, what are you going to get? He's gotten 17, 10 minutes off the bench, 10 and 4 fantasy points. Wow. But it's players like this that'll break a slate. Every damn time, you know, I'll talk smack about him, but every damn time the Lance Thomas is out there will go out there and get me right in the old prison pocket. Right in the, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right, don't get me started. Jason Tatum's kind of interesting at 8-3, but I'm going to pay up elsewhere, guys. It's not that it's a bad play. It's just he's safe. You guys know he's safe, um, but he could get a 23 on you. But he has a good matchup. Worth I'll put him in my player pool, but definitely not my number one or number two option. Uh, Gordon Hayward's been going under the radar. Nobody's talking about him. This man gets no respect. He's only 6'9". Man's getting 37, 39 fantasy points in his last two games. Gets full 30 point or 30 minute run. Sorry, guys. Um, and against Miami, he's been doing them dirty. His last two games, 45 and 46 fantasy points. At 6'9, get some very low own Gordon Hayward because ain't nobody talking about him and nobody's playing him. So I know he looks goofy. He looked like a Keebler elf, but get him in there at 6'9. Next up, TJ Warren at 8K. Hey, fluke? No. 70-point games? No, it's not a fluke. It's the real deal, guys. Now, will he do it again is the big question because he's priced up now to 8K. That'll definitely drive some ownership off. He was like 50% today. Um, but, yeah, definitely worth a look. I got to see if Oladipo is probably going to play. So, if, you know, Oladipo plays and Brogdon plays, that's more shots to go around. So we'll see. But 8K, well, if those two guys are out, I might consider TJ Warren again at 8K. Only if. Next up, nobody's talking about him. Man gets no respect. Robert Covington, guys, 7-1, 45, 33 fantasy points. This man is a minutes machine. 42 minutes, 37 minutes in his last two. As long as he's on the court, anybody on the court for this amount of time at 7-1 and gets consistently over 30 fantasy points. Remember, guys, we talked about this early in the season. It's called the 30-point club. When you're rostering your rosters, are you certain that person's going to get you at least 30 fantasy points? If not, don't roster them. The Robert Covingtons out there that you know that will, get them in there, and you can't lose, guys. That's the key to DFS. I mean, that's basically it. I mean, it doesn't always happen. You think they're going to get 30, and sometimes they don't, right? Um, but that's that's pretty much my strategy. So I just gave it away right there. Now you guys can all be DFS uh, providers and start your own thing. <laughs> but, yeah, Robert Covington, get him in there at 7-1. Uh, let's see. Next up. I right, went over them. Okay. So a couple options there at power forward. Don't you dare be sour. I almost forgot. Clap your hands and feel the power. Sorry, I almost forgot. Let's go to small forward. The smaller ones, you know. All right, Luka Doncic, 10-7. One of my pay-up options I like. Um, the matchup's great. Just hopefully it's not a blowout, right? But he goes off against them. Sacramento Queens, just like everybody does. 61 and a 69. In his last two, guys. 65, 63 in his last two games, period. So Luca's liking this this bubble, and he's been showing off. 10-7, you're either gonna have to choose basically him or Harden. I'm gonna go Luca. All right. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there in a minute. Next up, uh Kawhi is 9-1. It's okay. Um Patrick Beverly's probably gonna be back, so that'll cut into some of his uh his shots. You got a healthy Paul George. You got a healthy Clippers team. So maybe if he was like 8-5, I consider it. But it's not a bad play. You know, he will be lower on. But, I mean, he's only popping out 40-point games at 9-1. Guys, that's not that's not smart. Not smart at all. It's just the Clippers have so many mouths to feed. So 9-1, I will pass. Next up, Jimmy Butler is way too cheap at 7-2. I played him today. He got me 40, 
Another 40 point, almost, I think it was a 50 almost fantasy point game. Draft dashboard hasn't updated yet. They don't update till like 1.30 in the morning. And I already wait up that late just to do MLB videos. <laughs> but, um, so I'm going off of memory here, but yeah, I played him today. Jimmy Buckets has been also one of these guys who loves playing in the bubble. Some guys I've, I've noticed if there's no fans around, maybe it's less pressure. Maybe they play better without the pressure. So that makes sense, right? You would think so. But Jimmy Buckets has been doing work, man. At 7-2, he's been going low owned. You get no respect. Jimmy Buckets. And I love that new commercial he got out singing that song. I love that song. I'm not going to repeat it, but because you all know, want, do not want to hear me sing. But yeah, I can dig it, Jimmy. Do your thing. Next up, Rob Gumbach. Donovich is okay at 5-2. One of these players now, is he going to get you 30, 30 fantasy points? Kind of maybe if, iffy, iffy, he's 5'2", um, 31 minutes per game, 36, 28 fantasy points in his last two. Going up against Dallas, don't, I mean, defense is okay, kind of middle of the pack. Um, but Bogdan Bogdanovich, you want to put him with like Fox and we'll get the Fox in a minute. That'd be okay. Um, but yeah, he's one of those players at 5'2", you get into that range where are they going to, are they going to be in that 30 point club? So Bogdan, I almost said Boyan, Bogdan Bogdanovich with them Sacramento Queens at 5-2. Let's see here. We already went over Warren, Covington, Victor Oladipo. So from here it says he, he signed out due to, I heard it was rest, but it says he will likely return to action Tuesday. So it looks like Oladipo will be back. And at 5-9, I mean, I guess. Will he get 30? He could. He could. He got 28 on 31 minutes. So the only thing that scares me is he's as fragile as fragile can be. You got to wrap him up in bubble wrap before he takes the court. So, I mean, but the price is, is fair. 5-9. All deep up. If you want to take some stabs there, I don't blame you. Next up, Terrence Ross. No one talking about Terrence Ross. I know it's a bad matchup defensively, but he's 5-3. He comes off the bench. I get it, but he plays 20 minutes a game. And last game, he got 33 fantasy points before that 16. So it's either, you know, like today, Evan Fournier really screwed me, really screwed me. I thought he was one of those 5K players that was easily going to make the 30-point club, but it didn't happen. Um, is it Terrence Ross time? I don't know. It's, for me, this is just kind of like a gut feeling because the matchup, it doesn't make sense. I get it. He's a bench player. I don't normally roster bench players, but if you're desperate, we got some 5-3 Terrence Ross here. I just have a feeling all that uh, Brooklyn value is going to be so chalky tomorrow and watch they're going to fall on their face. Next up, Gary Trent Jr. Not the Iron Sheik Jr., but Gary Trent Jr. 26, 33 minutes in his last two games. Portland's just so damn hard to read with their bench. Um, but 25 and 31 fantasy points. Again, in a great matchup. Houston's ranked 28th in the league against guards, guys. Gary Trent at 4-3, 30-point club right here. I truly believe that. Um, again, this should be very high scoring, so I think Trent should get at least 30 fantasy points at 4-3, and that's what you need. That's what you need to cash, because if you guys haven't noticed, these slates, especially FanDuel, which I'm kind of new at playing FanDuel, NBA, I've been playing FanDuel, all the other sports, but NBA, you need like 400 points to cash, so it's craziness. Next up, a possibility here is Garrett Jedi Temple, 5'8". Again, he'll probably get the start, but what he does with it, who knows? Who freaking knows of these Brooklyn guys? Personally, I'm probably going to stay away. I hate getting tempted by these so-called value plays, you guys. You guys know what I'm saying. They go out there and do nothing. You're like, God, why did I do that? You know, like the day I left my baby's mama, I looked back and I was just like, God, why did I do that? Why did I, why did I ever get with that woman? You know, it's the same, same thing. So I'll try not to fall for the Brooklyn trap. I will try my best. All right. Cause Jedi Temple, he's okay. I mean, he's not, you know, nah. All right. So James Harden is 11 three. Now against Portland, I don't know. Um, probably not for me. Last two games hasn't done too well against him. 36-37. So if you're paying 11-3 for a, a player here, 
I love James Harden. You all know that. But he gets you 36, 37, 11, 3. You're going to be pissed, right? I think it's going to be the Russell Westbrook show this time. So I'm going to pass, especially at 11, 3, you guys. No, not um, throwing no shade on Harden. It's just, it is what it is. Next up, Booker T, five times Devin Booker, King Booker, 8-4. Another one will go overlooked because of the price price tag and, you know, good matchup. Not a great matchup against the Clippers. Again, you just worry about a blowout. You always do against the Clippers because they're so damn good. It's Booker T. I ain't got to tell you, 8-4, plug and play. Um, CJ McCollum, nope. Especially not at 8-2. They must be smoking crack. Next up, we got Jalen Brown. These Boston players, nobody likes to play them. And they're going, they're going underlooked here 33 36 minutes 32 46 fantasy points in his last two going up against miami guys not very good defensively against guards get him in there Jalen brown at 6 8 30 point club absolutely absolutely freaking lutely he's having a hell of a time in the bubble too let's see who else do we got aaron holiday if brogdon and oladipo are gone now if just all is going to play and brogdon's going to take a day off it is a back-to-back so we'll see you might want to throw aaron holiday in there he fucked us all today but right in the the chocolate starfish you know but we'll see if, if like i said all depot brogdon if they're in don't even consider holiday and sure as hell don't consider his brother justin justin gets a lot of minutes but He's just in there purely for defense, so he doesn't score fantasy points for us. But Aaron Holiday, only if one of those two guys is out, I would think about him at 5-1. Evan Fourier, damn you, I'll never fall for that again. <laughs> uh, you're better than that, man. Better than that. So here's one of these Brooklyn guys, Jamal Crawford. He signed with this team during the pandemic. Um, 4-7. He's a great basketball player. If he, if he's going to start, you best believe he'll be in shape. I might roll a dice with him. I said I wouldn't do it. But if he plays, let's see what this says here. It is unknown if he'll take the court Tuesday. Okay. So it's just conditioning with him. He's not injured. He signed during the pandemic when they put us all on house arrest. So we'll see. And they're really going to need bodies tomorrow. So Jamal Crawford plays at 4-7. We all know his upside. I mean, look, last game he played in the NBA, 38 minutes, 70 fantasy points. Jamal Crawford, don't forget him. But we'll see. If he's in, I'd say get him in there at 4-7. Take a shot. He's got that, that knowledge, man. He's got that leadership. He'll take over immediately. All right, so let's go to point guard. Damian Lillard at 9-9, no. Now, I do love Russell Westbrook at 9-4. This is my absolute most favorite. I'd like to pair him up with Luca if I can. It'll be hard, but I know I can do it. Um, 9-4 against Portland, guys. Portland cannot stop this man. 51-62 in his last two. Look at his history against Portland. Look at this. 66, six, all 60s and a 78, right? Russell Westbrook in the bubble. He, he's another one. He don't like playing with the fans. What can I say? It is what it is. But I'm, I'll be off a hard and I'm going to go to this man right here. I think it's Russell Westbrook time. Yes, sir. Um, at 9-4-2. He's under 10K. I love it. Darren Fox at 7-3. Way too cheap. So blowout last game. Only played 25. Got 20 fantasy points. Screwed a lot of people in the prison pocket. But. This should be a good game for him. It's a good matchup. He should take a ton of shots. Um, De'Aaron Fox is 7'3", 30-point club. Absolutely get him in there. Next up, the Rats, El Raton, Ricky Rubio, 6'7". As long as he's under 7K, 30-point club right here, Ricky Rubio. 29, 32 minutes, 35, 42 fantasy points. And he's doing it on the down low. These Phoenix Suns guys always go low on. So take a shot at 6-7, Ricky Rubio. Next up, Reggie Jackson. Now, with Patrick Beverly, it looks like he's going to play. So 
that will impact Reggie. So we'll, I mean, we'll see. We'll see if he starts. I mean, a 4-9, it's too bad, too, because he's been going off. I mean, last game, he only played 20 minutes, still got 34 fantasy points. That's what Reggie Jackson does. On any other team, he'd be a starter. It's just the Clippers are so deep. You want to take a shot with Patrick Beverly, maybe he's, his minutes will be limited. We heard that about Brogdon today. We know what limited minutes for Brogdon is over 30. So his full run must be 50, right? They pulled one over on us. Bastards. That's all right. We know better. I know better. I should have, I should have pulled the trigger on Brogdon. But Reggie Jackson, if Pat Bev is out, take a shot or, or even limited. We'll see. It's tough, man. Tyler Johnson, I'm not paying 664. You're out of your freaking minds. No way. Boy, and have the mighty have fallen. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know how I feel about Kemba Walker. He's 64. Still too expensive. No, he is trash. Kemba, hashtag never Kemba. The movement is still going. If he gets down to about 3K, I might consider it. Because that's about all he's worth. So don't do it. Now, Brogdon at 5'4", like I said, Brogdon at 5'4", that's too good to be true. If he plays, that's a no-brainer. Just plug him in there and move the hell on, you know? That's way too cheap. He should be about 7'7'5". Seven, seven, Had a hell of a day. Coming back today, I don't know how many exactly points he got. It hasn't updated yet, but I just know he went off. I know he got over 30 minutes. Brogdon at 5'4". Please. Please give me some. He'll be in 100% of my lineups if he plays. Sweet Lou, that's who I was thinking of. So if Sweet Lou plays, Reggie Jackson, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. But if Sweet Lou and Pat Bev play, especially Reggie, don't do it. It's a waste, too, because Reggie's so damn good. What's to say about Sweet Lou? Unknown. Unknown. All right. Because I love Sweet Lou. And if he plays and he's 5K, guys, sign me up. No restrictions, sign me up. I'm just saying, 5K Sweet Lou, he's normally about 6.57. Sign me up. Yes, sir. Uh, Jeremiah Martin's another Brooklyn net that's on the roster, <laughs> but I don't know. I just thought I'd mention him. And that'll do it. So with that said, let's go to the Lineup optimizer. Guys, this is draft dashboard. It's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have draft dashboard. You can do this. Come here, Schroeder. Schroeder wants to come up here and check it out. He's crawling all over the place. Um, you don't like this? Do another one. And it gives you all my watch players, all of draft dashboards players and all your players. So how can you go wrong, right? It combines them all, makes these, and you can do cash lineups, guys, GPPs, cash lineups. You name it. So you go to the dashboard here. It's got your sleepers and studs. You get access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, and the NBA cheat sheet. Because if you can't win, cheat. It's got the best uh, studs, best mid-tier, best value, guys, guys. This is draft dashboard. Again, it's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below, and you yourself can have draft dashboard. Don't forget, come join the family. Come get in. It's it's an all-day marathon with us. We got every single sport, everything. I'm exhausted, but I love what I do. I love what I do. I'm a worker, so come check us out. The cheapest and the best in the industry. And Schroeder and I are going to take you guys out with a prayer, like we always do. And we're only four subscribers away from that 4,000 mark. So if you're new, check me out. Subscribe to my video. Give me a shot. All right? If you like what you see, stay subscribed. But, yeah, I'm trying to get the 4K, guys. Only you can help me get there. I only need four more. Four more, Schroeder. If you think we can do it, I think we can do it. Yeah, I think we can. So let's say our prayer. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your friends. God bless your pets. God bless everybody. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's get this bread and don't take shit from no one because Schroeder will bite. I live and die by that rule, guys, and you should too. And I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love all the positive feedback. You guys are amazing. God bless you. I'll see you in the MLB video. Take care.